Hello and welcome to today's Drug Aware Update. So today's topic is drug and alcohol policy development. So the first thing people tend to wonder is, what is a drugs and alcohol policy? Well, a company drug and alcohol policy is basically the company's views on drugs and alcohol, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, and what are the consequences if somebody breaches the rules. These rules effectively become part of people's terms and conditions of employment. And so as long as the, um, there is a notice period that's been provided that exceeds an individual's contractual notice, it's perfectly legal for a company to put this into place. So, for example, if people have to hand in a month's notice before they choose to leave, if they don't want the policy in place, you can give, say, a month and a day's notice that the policy is changing. Now, once this becomes part of everyone's terms and conditions of employment, it means that if a drug test is required as part of the policy, it has effectively become part of their job. So if they were to refuse, it would be considered to be a failure to undertake a reasonable management request. So this is done by a lot of companies because at the moment in the UK, it works out that just over half of all road and industrial fatalities involve either drink, drugs or both. Drug Aware do this uh, for companies. We implement training. We provide test equipment and lab services. So just give us a call on 0845 900 2755 or visit www.drug-aware.com.